have today a Commodore Amiga tank mouse. Very old, very yellow, but a bit of an antique, bit of a classic. Uh, got a little problem with the left mouse button here. Right mouse button, it's got a very nice solid click to it. Left one, not so much. You can sort of feel a click, but it's very unresponsive. It doesn't work most of the time. So what I've done, taken the screws out the bottom, flip the top off. Inside, I've got these two. Just let the camera focus a moment. Two little button switches. Uh, this one has had it really. This one's got a nice click. This one is just knackered. So I've been and bought a couple of replacement button switches there. Um, yeah, you can see they're exactly the same as what's in there at the moment. I'm just going to desolder the left one, resolder a new one. Got the soldering iron connected now. Um, while I wait for that to warm up, just show you on the mouse here. There's two little black screws, one here and one here. I've removed them just over here. Once they're removed, this board literally just pulls out in one go. You can see on the bottom there we've got four little solder contact points for the switch. Just tested it with a multimeter and um, it appears that we've got these two points here are ground um, and uh, that one's alive so when you push the switch it's connecting between these two and when you release it it's uh, breaking the connection so um, yeah all four points are important there this is obviously the ground here and we've got these two on it and then that's live there so uh, I'm just going to desolder it now so there's the board now with the uh, switch removed um, yeah it's looks clean enough there is the old switch and just next to it there this is the new one you see they're very similar the old switch there it's got slightly shorter legs. I've just measured it in the mouse itself and the, the new one will fit fine. Um, the old switch is ever so slightly. Um, I can't really see, let me see if I can get the light on. Bear with me a second. Okay, there we go now. You can see the old switch just there is ever so slightly shorter than a new one it doesn't actually look very clear from here actually um, but when I was looking at it before come on camera focus uh, yeah the, the button actually looks about the same but the base of the new switch is slightly deeper Anyway, I was going by the measurements that were posted online. Um, hopefully they should be fine. I'll just pop this new switch in and then give it a bit of a dab of solder and we should be good. Right, so the new switch is in the board now. You see, there it is. Legs on the outside. Because the legs are curved and sort of slightly springy, it actually sits in the board quite nicely. Um, so it's just there waiting for the solder to be tacked on. Soldering's done. Um, you should be able to see there we've got some pretty clean solder joints there. And there's a switch in situ. So I'm just going to run a multimeter across the points and make sure it's okay. Right, so I've put the board back in. I haven't screwed it together yet, but I uh, just wanted to check the feeling. Obviously, it um, did check out okay with the multimeter. All the connections are good, but if you listen, you've got a nice solid click there. Nice little click there, but the action's slightly different. Uh, not too happy about that. I mean, this is clearly fitting fine, feels okay, but 
what I'm going to do, because I bought two switches, I'm going to replace the right one as well, just so that we've got the same action on both buttons. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, there's a second switch. Um, I have removed it now. It's in, soldered in. Just a little bit of... Uh, Uh, just a little scuff on the board there where I've rubbed the probe from the meter on it, but that's not damaged any of the traces. Um, tested it and it all seems to be working good, so I'm going to put the mouse pad together and go plug it in and see if it works. And just to show the point, now that I've got both switches in there, the mouse, left mouse button, right mouse button, nice solid clicks that are the same. We've got the same action on both buttons, so that feels nice. The mouse is all plugged back in now. It's gonna boot up the Amiga. Um, got a GoTech drive here, so just got a slightly right floppy image for Whitebench. And um, we'll let it boot. Excuse the flickering on the screen. Uh, it's beautiful CRT, but sadly it doesn't record very well on video. Uh, so that's booting now. There we go. Mouse is moving, so that's a good start. I'll just skip this, hang on. Okay, we're um in the workbench now, all booted and it does seem to be working quite nicely. A good solid click there on the mouse. Right click is working nicely as well. So that's good, I'm really satisfied with that. Yeah, it's working beautifully. There we go, one mouse rescued from the dustbin, well <laughs> that's where it would have been otherwise but uh, yep that's uh, one mouse rescued, another successful repair job, um, there we go if you want to see more please subscribe.